Hey guys, this is me right now. What I'm talking about Sony State of Play. Now, for those of you who didn't watch it, State of Play was just today. So you can go watch it, then come back to this video because there will be spoilers ahead. Now, this State of Play, we, we basically knew from the beginning that it was going to be just third party. And they actually did a pretty good job with that. Crash Bandicoot 4 was the lead-off game, and they revealed some good stuff about it. They even revealed that, like, there's going to be an inverted mode, I believe. It seems like after you probably beat the game, and then you're going to be able to play the levels in different ways. This is kind of cool. Also, how you can play all the Crash levels with Coco as well. That's cool. And they revealed you can play as Dingo Dial too. So that's probably cool for Crash fans. In the last state of play, I thought Bug Snacks looked pretty cool, and they revealed some more about the story and whatnot. And it looks like one of those games you just pick up kind of don't take too seriously it looks pretty decent they also showed some vr stuff like hitman vr and star wars vr which actually looks like a decent vr star wars game now i find with star wars in general and vr it's kind of hard to make it feel like authentic actual lightsaber fights and whatnot but hopefully this one will work out because it, it looks pretty good and hopefully it's a decent game. One thing I did like about the state of play was that they had a good amount of gameplay and it wasn't like one of those ones where you see a bunch of CGI trailers. They had that too, but it was a decent amount of gameplay. Like they showed in Pathless, they showed actual a bunch of gameplay in Pathless actually. But one thing that actually looks good to me is Hood. It's coming on the PS5. I don't think it's coming on the PS4 actually. And... It seems like it's a game where you can play co-op with probably up to three people, but not only do you have to do the mission, but other players can get in the way of your mission. And that seems pretty cool if they can execute it properly, but we don't know much about this game yet. All we saw was the CGI trailer, but that's probably one I'd definitely keep my eye on, God willing. And they ended with Godfall. I don't know. The game Godfall just doesn't look that... Bad. It's just one of those games where I'm just not sure. Like, it basically looks like God of War, except like you can play it three-player co-op and whatnot. So... I don't know. It's just, uh, even with all this gameplay and stuff revealed about it, it's still a game that I just really have no say either way for. I can't say, oh no, that's not a game I'd like. I can't say that's a game I'd like yet. I just don't know. It's just one of those things. But the state of play itself was pretty good. Like I said, they had a good amount of gameplay. But here's the thing that I actually didn't like about it. Remember how with the Microsoft Xbox game showcase, a lot of these games would say whether they were cross-play or not? I noticed that none of these multiplayer games in this state of play mentioned whether they were cross-play or not. I mean, these are all, I think, third-party games, and yet none of them are going to mention whether they are cross-play or not. Also, there was no, like, point in this state of play that really just drew me in like that. All the games that should they... Most of the games they showed seemed pretty decent and whatnot, but do you know how certain conferences you have that moment where it's just like, wow, I can't believe they're doing that or whatnot. There was just not that moment in this state of play. But other than that, the state of play was actually pretty decent. Like I said, the games looked decent. All in all, kudos, Sony. But what did you guys think about the state of play? And what game or games really caught your eye? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and God bless you all.